Derek Scissors joins us here live in the studio, Senior Research Fellow at the Heritage Foundation. You're a big China watcher. You've been watching the economy. You're watching the markets. Vivi was talking about some of the reasons why we're seeing this big decline. In your opinion, what's going on here? Uh, you know, markets often need excuses to move, and they take an excuse like, I, you know, I didn't feel well this morning. So they'll take something like the PMI, which is a monthly indicator. It's not very important. It's not very clear. But they're generally uncomfortable with the situation in China, so it's an excuse to sell. But if you look at the A shares, which are traded in Shanghai, the H shares in Hong Kong, they're getting beaten, beaten, beaten up in either city. Mm -hmm. So foreign investors are selling. Domestic investors are selling. Why is there no confidence in this growth potential in China when we're talking about seven, seven and a half, eight percent growth. Well, uh, you know, investors dislike uncertainty more than anything else. And right now you have an uncertainty about the money market. Is the People's Bank going to stick with uh, a relatively tight policy and allow these cash crunches, allow these interest rate spikes, or are they going to move? If you, ha if you believe the People's Bank is committed to a policy, this is a short-term drop. I, explain to us what's going on here, because we keep sure. talking about SHIBOR and LIBOR. Mm -hmm. and, and for our viewers, it's basically the short-term money market lending rate to institutional or big banks or big clients. And that interest rate has gone up. So essentially, they're saying the government is saying the borrowing cost is going up. Why, why do we care about this so much? Why is it such a big deal? Well, the markets care because if it's, if it's harder to borrow, it's harder to make money, it's harder to make profits, and then you know, that's where stock prices come from. It's not clear how much the rest of the economy should care. China has had, and people like me have been saying this for years, way, way too much credit. A lot of people agree with that, say, yeah, too much credit, too much credit. But when the government starts to act to reduce the amount of credit, everybody panics. Well, so some are calling this a, a credit crisis. And I'm scratching my head because everything that I've read about China shows that there's plenty of money in the system. So one group has to be wrong here. Yeah, the, the group that says this is an, a crisis, that we're going to have an acute downturn, is wrong. Uh, there's, there are problems. There's too much credit in the system. There are other problems in the financial system, but it's not a crisis. So you're saying the government is doing the right thing and trying to calm that credit down? Yes. It's taking the credit card away a little. Absolutely. We wanted China rebalance. We wanted a more sustainable model. As they, they take two steps towards a sustainable model, and everybody panics. They're doing the right thing, and people need to calm down. You, you look at the manufacturing. This, this PMI number, which is an indicator of sort of future factory activity, We've seen some real mixed signals around the world. I don't want to say it's a downturn because that's not true. It's a slowing of growth. How concerned should people be about this? I don't think they should be very concerned. The PMI is pretty much is pretty far removed from what actually happens in the economy. It's it's almost like the moodiness of the managers. If the managers feel bad about things, you get a low PMI. I understand why people respond to that, but it's not very precise. What do you worry about? Uh, I do worry about whether China can stay the course. We're just at the start of this. You don't, you don't say, Premier Lee said, we're going to have reforms that are going to be so tough it's going to be like slitting our wrists. This is just the beginning and we have all this panic. So if China can, can hold firm, I, I'm, I'm positive. If, if, they, if they turn back, if they say oh, it's too hard, then we're just back in the situation we were a year ago. A little violent in the description, but <laughs> we'll, we'll accept that. Derek Scissors Heritage Foundation, thank you very much. Always good to have you on.